everyone, I'm Melissa Hurley, and today we're here in Davis Square at the Bullpen Pub 5th Annual Road Race. I'm standing here with Dennis LaFaver, who is representing the Somerville Homeless Coalition. And Dennis, can you please tell us a little bit about the Somerville Homeless Coalition? We've been in business for about eight years uh, in response to the need of homeless people in the Somerville area. We originally started with a small shelter servicing single adults and expanded to provide services for families. Uh, since that time, we've serviced hundreds of Somerville residents, both single adults and their families who are in need. We provide them with shelter, food, training, social services, in the hopes of, of individuals obtaining a better life for themselves. And I understand you have two shelters now. That's right. There's the family shelter, which services anywhere from five to eight families, and the single shelter, which services eight adults. Okay, and I would imagine that the bullpen ra race brings in a lot of money for the Somerville Homeless Coalition. Do you have any other fundraisers throughout the year? Well, we have two uh, semi-annual appeals, one which goes on in the spring and another which goes on around the holiday time. Uh, but this actually is between those two appeals and makes a difference in terms of our continued ability to provide services to the people of Somerville. The nice thing about Somerville is that we have people like Jim here at the Bullpen Pub who make a real contribution to us. Ames Envelope and Robert Arnold, uh, one of the community leaders, has also been very helpful to us. And without the community support of businesses like that, and the people from the mayor's office, uh, the mayor himself, Paula Stewart, Ralph Hergert, who've been very helpful to us, we wouldn't be able to provide this service. Okay, and if anyone would like to make a personal donation to the Sunwell Homeless Coalition, or maybe would like to call up and see if they could help volunteer in some way, how would they do that? They can contact us at 623-6111 or write to us at Box 436, Somerville, Mass, 02144. Actually, we have a number of Somerville residents who provide dinners for us, clothing donations, and donations of office supplies and things of that sort. Okay, so there's many different ways someone can, could get involved. That's right. There are individuals who come and uh, provide tutoring services for the children in our family center who just provide some playtime, uh, arts and crafts activities, uh, little babysitting sometimes. People have been very helpful. Okay, well thank you Dennis and continued success. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm standing here with the bullpen owner, Jim Howe, and his daughter, Colby. Now, Jim, you've run this race for the past five years. How do you think you'll do today? <laughs> We're going to be watching the time on that. Well, every year I've come down a little bit, but it's a little hot today. But I think I'll do all right. I'm middle of the packer. Uh, Jim, I know that you and everyone else have been working on the um, road race for the past few weeks, the past few months, actually. I, would you like to thank your sponsors right now? Well, actually, uh, this year we're sponsoring ourselves. Um, We've had a sponsor in the past, but uh, they had to back out of budget cuts, so it, it's a pretty expensive race, but, you know, you know, the homeless people need it, and we've been into it since our fifth year, so, we, you know, we, we feel almost obligated at this point to, to do it. Uh, we enjoy doing it. You know, we have a lot of people to come and help us, so and people, some of them are great. Every year, uh, we have so many volunteers, and hey, everybody can't do enough, so it, it's good for us. We enjoy it. And for some people who may not know, could you outline the race for us? Well, we're going to start right here, right in front of the, uh, the bullpen, and we're going to go right down to um, Somerville Ave, take a left at the car wash. We'll go right into Union Square, take a left onto Bow Street, up Summer Street, down some, up Summer Street is no fun, by the way, down Summer Street. We'll take a right onto Willow, a left onto Highland, and back at the bullpen. Okay. Party after, uh, big cookout and so on and so forth. And how much money do you hope to give to the Summerall Homeless Coalition? Well, we give we, we usually give between um, twenty-five hundred and four thousand dollars every year. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to do the same this year. 
Okay, well, you've done a great job, and I'm sure you're going to come in first place. And here's the other one right here. <laughs> Hi. Is Daddy going to do well today? <laughs> Say yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jim. Okay. All right, Melissa. Bye-bye. Well, here's a familiar face to the bullpen. We're standing here with Billy Bazooka. And Billy, you run this race every year. Yes, I do. And what was your best score so far? 27 minutes and 15 seconds last year. I was hoping to beat that this year, but I'm running with my eight-year-old daughter who's running for the first time, so I'm gonna run with her and carry her through it. Or well, vice versa, she'll probably be carrying me through it. So have you prepared for the race? Yep, I've been running, uh, I've been running for about a month now, a month and a half, getting ready. I've been running three or four times a week, and uh, I feel good, I feel good. I know that you also work behind the scenes as one of the organizers for today's event. Can you oh. tell us exactly? Oh, hold on one second. Oh. my daughter, who's now also going to be. What's your name? Amanda. 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 And have you been preparing with your father for the race? Hi. Yeah. Okay. You ready, honey? Tell her how you feel. <laughs> feel good? You know what? I heard that you're going to be better than him. I heard you're going to have to carry him along. <laughs> Is that true? She just wanted to come for the T-shirt anyway. That's why she's here. We'd like to thank you guys, Davis Square TV, for uh, doing a lot of promotional work for us. And you guys do a great job. All right, thank you very much, and hope you guys have a good time. Okay, good luck. Good luck, thank Amanda. You. Thank you. One quick note before you go. Please make sure your number is on the front of your shirt. So when you come, make sure your number's on the front, not on the back, so they can see your numbers as you come through the finish line. Real quick, check your numbers. I see a couple of people that can't see numbers. Make sure if you have a number, please put it on the front of your shirt. The running this race every year, you know, we usually have the national anthem before, usually sung by us. Special individual. He's not here today, so. Introduction in, in with keeping tradition. We're going to do a national anthem. Take it out of your attention, and we'll all.
Okay, Kim is standing here with us and he's at one of the water stops volunteering. Kim, what exactly are you doing today? Well, we're getting water ready for all the runners when they come by. It's a pretty hot day out today. My, my sister here is helping me out. She's got the water. And I, you have oranges yeah, also? We got oranges and we got a shower for the ones that uh, really need it, you know. How come you're not running the race today? No, nah, no way. It's too hot. Yeah, not in shape. We also have Josephine who's volunteering and another volunteer over here. Yeah, this is Ariel. Ariel, are you having fun today? Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite part? Um, uh, filling up the cup so with Yeah, you like to fill up the water? Okay, well, it's really hot out, so at least you have a good job. Can I say hi to my daddy? Sure. Hi, daddy. It's me. Okay, <laughs> thank you. to come back, but Officer Devereaux joins us here right now. And Officer Devereaux, could you explain to us, a lot of people probably don't understand, um, I'm sure you had to take many precautions when you're running a road race, and the ambulance is here, the police are here, and what exactly is your job today? Uh, myself and another stumble officer, Officer Polito, are up here at the, at the bullpen itself. Uh, people are, are outside, and they're uh, in a good mood, and there's alcohol being served, so we're here for that purpose. Along the uh, race route, there's a number of auxiliary officers that will be blocking off different intersections and providing for the safety of the runners as they travel on the streets. I'm sure today it's very hot. Um, it doesn't matter if it's one mile or ten miles, there's always a chance that you could pass out, right? That, that's right. That's why we're in radio contact with the uh, fire department and other offices. We have an ambulance standing by, and the other city services have been notified of what's going on today. Okay, well, it seems like you have everything in order. You're doing a great job. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm standing here with Joyce Garente. And Joyce, you're here every year? Yes, what I am. Yes, I am. And how is this year different than other years? Well, this year, um, we got a really great turnout. Everybody comes here helping out for the homeless. I think it's great every year, actually. So it's always a lot of fun? Oh, always a lot of fun. Everybody gets involved. The kids have a good time. Good food, good music, good time. Okay, how come you're not running? I don't run. <laughs> I can't run. I'd rather be here volunteering and helping out in other ways, doing the registration and things. Okay, well, good for you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Zachary's Drunker.
Rock.
The race is over, and right now we're standing with our winner, Tom Murdoch. And Tom, how many years have you run the bullpen race? I've run it all five years that they've had it, and uh, it's one of my favorite races. I love the course. You know, it goes the first two miles are really quick, then we go up a nice hill, and we really work. Um, I've won it three years, my second year in a row, and I'm really happy because I live in Somerville, and the winner of Somerville race is um, really special to me. And I know the owner of the um, establishment, and Jimmy Howe's an excellent gentleman. It's a great place. And uh, I know he gets a lot of support from um, you know, Channel 3 and different other um, groups. Um, so I'm really happy. How was your score this year compared to last? It was quicker than last year. I think about 15 seconds. And um, I'm happy with that. It was a nice day out there. Especially since it's so hot today. Um, have you, how have you prepared for the race? Um, well, I've been uh, doing a lot of uh, mileage. I ran uh, Mount Washington last Saturday. And um, I was wondering how I'd feel, but my legs did feel good. I was happy. Oh, you definitely are in shape. Do you run any other races throughout the year? Yes, I do. I like to run the uh, Falmouth Road Race coming up in August. That's a fun race. And then I do a lot of the 5Ks, like in Malden and other races in Somerville. And um, then I do some races in Winthrop, different places. And I um, really enjoy it. I belong to a running club, the Irish American Track Club. And, um, it's a good group of, um, we got some serious runners, some fun runners, and um, it's a nice social land running club. It's good to have fun while you're staying healthy. Yeah. Um, so what's next? How about the Boston Marathon? Well, I'm thinking about it for next year, and um, definitely for the 100th, which will be in 96. Everybody's thinking about that. And uh, I'd like to run one. It'd be a good challenge. Hey, well, you did a great job today, and good luck, and make sure you come back next year. I sure will. I'll be back. See you next year. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks. Now I'm standing here with one of the bullpen managers, Leo Kelly. Well, Leo, another successful road race has come to an end. Yeah, we had a great turnout today. I'd like to thank all the people that sponsored us, Budweiser, Whitehall Liquors, and all the people that helped us out at the water station and the people here back here at the finish line. Okay, I'm sure some people don't realize all the behind the scenes work that goes into putting on a road race. Um, how many months have you been preparing for this? Well, it usually takes two, three, four months to really get things going, and it always really comes together the last final two weeks. Now we would like to have a little more sponsorship this year, but you know, we know money's tight, but it like, takes a long time. Well, the important part is that you still went on and, and continued to do the road race, even though you didn't have as many sponsors as last year. Um, how many entrants did you have this year? Well, we ended up having about 240 and 188 official runners, which is not a bad turnout, considering the short time that we really ended up putting it together. I saw a few kids running also today and a few senior citizens. Yeah, we try to get the whole family together as far as it being a group activity. And it works out pretty good. Kids, adults, and even elderly people. We have people that are up to 69 years old that ran. 
Yeah, we have a great course, and you put a lot of effort into it, and you should be congratulated. So I'm going to let you go back. I know you're going to announce the winners soon. Yep. I'm going to let you get back to your work. Okay. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. My name's Joyce Grant, this is my son Brendan Sullivan, and he rode in the lead and police car leading the race. How do you like riding in the police car, Brendan? Good. What do you get to do in the car? Uh, I get, I got to play with the sirens and play with the microphone. And did you get to wear the cop's hat? Yeah. And d did you enjoy the race? Yes. All right, good guy. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Uh, bye. bye. Thanks. I'd like to thank Joe Fortunato from Sunland Access TV. He's always you know, he's there every year. Thank you very much. And representing the Sunland Coalition for the Homeless, Dennis LaFaber. We are on the proceeds of this. I'm going, you know, being donated to. I'd like to thank Jimmy Howe, Mark Sullivan from the bullpen for running the whole thing. You know, five years, it's, you know, it's a good track record. The pipe with the track record. Yeah. yeah. Put those glasses on. You'll see that. All right, we're going to start off with the trophies. First trophy, we're making a habit out of this. The best time oh overall winner hey! in the men's. Oh what a nice hand for Tommy Murdoch. <laughs> time is 20 minutes 33 seconds. Tommy, where are you? Come on up here. So we're making a habit of this. Our next award for the overall women's winner at a time of 26 minutes, 12 seconds. How about a nice hand for Eileen O'Rourke? Everybody, Eileen, come on up. Accepted by Heather Flynn. Nice race, Heather. She went home and showered real quick. Nice job. Play your Kino, right? Don't forget. All right, next. For category 17 and under, at a time of 24 minutes and 2 seconds. Let's have a nice hand for Mike Poplin from Melrose, right?
She left. As long as you give it to her. All right, Sandra. Moving up, category from 18 years to 29 years at a time, 21 minutes, 38 seconds. What I stand for Adam Sani. Nice race, Adam. Okay, in the female category, 18 to 29 years of age. Time of 27 minutes, 13 seconds. Someone I stand for Jennifer West. Love these nice, easy games, Jennifer. Nice race. Age 30 to 39. At a time of 20 minutes, 33 seconds. A nice hand for Tom Berta. Six minutes, 12 seconds. Eileen O'Rourke. Eileen again. Nice girl. You can get this one. Get on camera. Let it grow. Thank you. All right, here we go. Vince. From 40 up to 49. Ages 40 to 49. Time of 21 minutes, 27 seconds. I'm a nice hand for Montserrat. Burgos. <laughs> Making a habit of this too, huh? Oh yeah, nice job, nice race. What's all right? <laughs> nice race. And the women, women's category. Age 40 to 49. At a time of 34 minutes, one second. I'm a nice hand for Jeanette Douglas. Jeanette.